It's your weekly VR recap, and this week it's all about the games. Beat Saber received a big update this week, bringing us six new tracks, color personalization, and enhanced visuals. Original Soundtrack Volume 3 can be listened to on our story below, including another track from former CEO Yaroslav Beck, who stepped down to concentrate on creating more music for the game. Meanwhile, you can step away from the classic Jedi Red and Blue Sabers for something a little bit more your style, and you can enjoy improved lighting effects and more precise detection of angles when you swing, amongst other minor bug fixes. Valve The Lab received its first major update in nearly three years, bringing index support, a physics overhaul, and spatialized sounds. Not only is there finger and hand tracking thanks to Valve's index controllers, but you can also reassign actions on any controller to make the game better configured for you. Every object in the game is fully interactive and reactive to your hands, so a coffee mug will be pushed or smashed by your hand rather than passed through. And no, there's sadly no further news on Valve's flagship VR game, but we're still expecting it to come this year. The second installment of Star Wars Vader Immortal is coming later this year. In Episode 1, players came face to face with Darth Vader himself. However, in Episode 2 you'll face new force-powered skills like the lightsaber toss, and face new enemies like the Dark Ghast, described to be similar to the Rancor but with extra limbs. As for the lightsaber dojo, this episode will focus on teaching you how to use the lightsaber and the force at the same time. Aspire 1's release date has just been confirmed for September the 24th by the stealth action games publisher Tripwire Interactive. The release will be for all PC platforms, Quest and PC VR, all at the same time. As if that wasn't enough, if you pre-order Aspire 1 on Steam today, you can get a copy of Tripwire's zombie shooter Killing Floor Incursion absolutely free. For PSVR players, you'll get a 15% discount when you pre-order on the PSN store. Alright, now for this week's biggest releases. Acorn is a cute party game where mobile players are squirrels out to steal the VR player's golden acorns. Cloudlands 2 brings more mini golf courses, as well as full-sized ones, to VR. Wreck-It Sim Hotel r r is now available in early access on the Oculus and Steam Source. Explore and fight through mystic worlds in the full release of VR RPG Vanishing Realms. From the team that made I Expect You To Die comes Until You Fall, which fuses melee and magic in a sword fighting experience. Get creative with Sculptor VR on Quest, the latest artistic VR tool to bring your paintings to life. And finally, PSVR players can welcome Waltz of the Wizard with its extended edition release. Over on YouTube, we asked you what was the craziest thing you'd done in No Man's Sky VR. You discovered that you could kill someone with kindness got caught up in crazy hunting battles, uncovered weird and wonderful creatures, and experienced existential crises. And finally, we've got Acron codes for you this week. To enter the giveaway, you've just got to head over to this week's VR recap article and follow the instructions. Best of luck. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week, but in the meantime, you should check out these videos. They're hot off the press.